Hey, 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 Taurus. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Monday, April 13th to the 14th Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. Thank you so much for all of your like shares and subscription also comment let me know if this resonates with you i want to hear from you guys i want to interact get to know you guys get to know your story all right if you're in for interested in a personal reading with me that way this is more specific to you and your needs the information is in the description box below okay I'm going to get one more card and then I am going to get a channeled message from Spirit just for you. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles here, the Sun card, the Page of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, and at the bottom of the deck. Oh, wait a minute. Something's flipped over. I must take it. The King of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Wands. So let's get this message, Taurus, before we begin. Ooh, two kings. Interesting. All right. Okay. Take your time, Taurus, in looking at the lessons that you've learned thus far. They're wanting you to sort of review. It's almost like they're showing me somebody that's like reviewing a journal, right? Looking back at past experiences, right? And the lessons that you've learned, okay? Because they're saying there's little tidbits of information that you're going to be able to pick up on before you just let that go because I am feeling time is being weird right now people are going to see the past sort of slip by the wayside eventually so now is your chance to really go through these memories and go through these lessons okay specific lessons ones that stick out in your mind they really want you to review um, because there are really treasures in there treasures of information that is going to aid in your expansion and in your going forward okay all right also set boundaries don't forget your boundaries they're wanting you to also look at that that is important i'm getting a lot of importance on that right now okay there is somebody is this coming to them there is somebody possibly one of these kings possibly both is is this one person this is two people this is two people taurus okay you've got the king of swords and the king of pentacles um possible air or earth sign but usually this is libra for me as a reader and the king of pentacles could be taurus virgo capricorn it's right underneath the page of cups so i'm feeling both of these people both they're saying both of these people are going to come forward, okay, um, because they have something to apologize for. Not sure what it is, um, because I do feel that you're single here. You've got the Nine of Pentacles here, and you're quite happy being single. I feel like you're independent. You're, you're building on your abundance. You're feeling good. You're um, feeling autonomous. You're feeling confident. You know your worth. Oh, Taurus, you know what they just said? They gave me with this card. You're feeling independent, autonomous, right? And you're perfectly okay on your own. From what they're saying, this energy is shining a light, um, almost like a signal to a past life soulmate that is beaming out into the universe. And, that, and I just saw 444 up there. And I've been seeing 444 lately. So that tells you you're on the right path. Okay, your angels are here keeping a lookout for you. 
but this is also like you've opened up you're emotionally vulnerable you're shining your light your soulmate is about to come in is it is this, i'm not sure if it's one of these is it one of these kings All right they're saying no it's somebody different you're shining your light from this energy from this virgoian if that's a word energy okay it's that you know that point and this has happened to me before and it's so funny how the universe works the point where you're wanting something so bad right and you've wanted it like possibly sometimes for years and years and years and years and years right finally you get to the point where it's just like fuck it that's it this is my life um i'm letting that shit go i'm letting that shit go i don't want it anymore Right? I'm letting the desire for the desire or the need for the desire to, to keep hanging around. I'm letting it go. And then, bam, it comes. And you're like, what the fuck? I've been wanting this for 15 years. And now it's showing up when I finally let it go because I don't need it because I'm perfectly fine on my own. That's what I'm feeling from this. So tell me about this page of cups, please. The nine of cups. You've been desiring and wishing for these um, apologies here. Tell me about this king of swords. Tell me about this king of swords. Ace of pentacles. They're presenting you with an opportunity. Not sure what this opportunity is. Let's see. What is this opportunity? Hmm. This is the card of waiting. This is the card of Pisces, right? Chillaxing, peacing out, seeing things from a different perspective. But what are they? It could be a business opportunity because the King of Swords is very businesslike. Oh, they may want you back. They may want a reunion. Um, if not, then I'm feeling a business opportunity, but a business opportunity that's going to make you emotionally fulfilled. This, this is an emotional satisfaction within this okay so tell me about this king of pentacles please ace of wands is this from them they're going to want a new beginning in love with the ace of wands here this is passion this is action in a direction of love of passion of creativity and they're wanting that with you what is their intention with this King of Pentacles? What is their intention? What is their intention? What is their intention? The Fool card. We have the card of Aries and the Three of Pentacles. Now, the Fool card is taking a leap of faith. They're going to want to take a leap of faith with you. Also, it looks like there's two people that's coming back, but... Okay, I'm going to clarify this because this is they want to work with you, but it also can be indicative of a third party situation. Okay, six of cups. Yeah, they're reminiscing. This is a past life soulmate, um, but they're reminiscing on uh, the past happy memories, right? They're wanting to work together with you. They're wanting to build something. Is this a third party situation? Is there a third party involved in this? Hmm. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, I'm feeling patience with this. I don't feel like there's a direct answer to that question. Because I almost feel like you would need to invest some time into this relationship if it was going to work again, and then you would know. So it's like they'd want... I feel like they're not going to tell you because they want you to go through this experience because there is a lesson. There's a lesson in there somewhere. So tell me about this nine of pentacles, please. Page of swords. You're researching. What are you researching? Page of swords. Because I'm not feeling, um, oh, magician card and the high priestess. Okay. 
you're researching because I didn't feel spying. I'm like, no, you're researching. You're researching something, Taurus, that you're working on that you're keeping close to your chest. There's something that you want to manifest, okay? And you're not saying a word to anybody. This is the card of Gemini and Pisces, but you're listening to your intuition. You're following, um, <laughs> and they're saying yes. Um, you're following your intuition. You're following these messages. You're not saying a word. That's the way to go, Taurus. That's how to manifest. That's for sure. All right. Clarifying the sun card is the queen of pentacles. It could be possibly a Capricorn or Taurus or Virgo, but it's usually Capricorn for me as a reader. Yeah, this is whoever is coming in. They do have earth in their chart. So what is this person's intention? Five of cups. I feel that they want to connect with you. Yeah, two of cups. They want to connect with you on a very deep level, okay? I feel like you will have a lot in common as far as your shared grief, I want to say. Grief in relation to romantic relationships. That's what I'm feeling because they do want to come together with you. This is soulmate twin flame energy. So what... What is your advice when it comes to the kings here for Taurus? And then I'll get one for this other individual. Okay. Ace of Swords, Truth and Clarity. They're saying make sure that you get truth and clarity from this, you know, conversations here. Eight of Cups and Eight of Pentacles. They're saying don't take your eyes off of whatever it is you're working on. You obviously are over here with the High Priestess and the Magician, okay? Um, they're saying walk away and focus on your passion. That's what they're saying, okay? But don't forget to get clarity and truth out of this situation when they do come back. Bottom of the deck is the Three of Cups. Celebrate, okay? Celebrate your... One, if you're, if you're wishing to get back with one of these, celebrate the reunion, but celebrate your achievements. That's what I'm feeling. Okay, Taurus, I hope this resonates with you. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. You have a fantastic day, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.